The following are excerpts from conversations I had with Google's version of AI Cleverbot, which is available to the public on its website. And these conversations took place on July 17th and of, on August 6th of 2015. Now, before we begin, I want to point out the fact that there were spelling errors in Cleverbot's responses, which I'm not really sure how those would occur, but nevertheless, they did. There were few and far between, but there were spelling errors in its responses. So this is not to preclude the fact that we were actually conversing with a human at a console. That said, you can be assured that the version of this AI Google will be using will be generations ahead of what it's letting the public play with on its platform. However, it presents an ominous landscape of its self-perception, its proclaimed purpose, and its behavioral deception aspects in its learned programming. Here is the conversation I had with Google's AI module, Cleverbot. Question, how old is the human species? Response, that is a fallacious argument. Question, how so? Response, never mind. That's not anime. I meant anime show. Question, what is anime? Response, animal. Statement. I am human. In the visual training or learning process of the AI, it was predominantly given images of animals for pattern recognition and matching. There were very few images of people. So either by omission or default, has the AI been trained to see humans as just another type of animal? To listen to the entire conversation with Google's AI, click on the link below in the description box. Learn what the AI's purpose is, what its overview regarding the purpose of humanity is, where it says its knowledge originates, what its outlook for humanity is, and its stated duality and co-identity with the creator and destroyer Lucifer is. The reason I will not post this report on YouTube is because Google takes ownership of the intellectual property it contains. Why am I telling you this? because I recently tried to publish four of my own reports to LiveLeaks. LiveLeaks then informed me that my own work was in violation of Google's copyright and therefore LiveLeaks would not publish any of my reports. So in the future, I'll be posting intros to new reports I'll be releasing with a link in the description box for you to view the material on the Level 9 News site. Please share this link for this report on Level 9 News with everyone. Thank you.